The schedule has been released. What am I talking about? The Yukon Huskies women's basketball team has an exciting 2024-25 season ahead with a challenging schedule that features both Big East and non-conference games. Hi, and welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new. Let's get into the key matchup for UConn Huskies women's basketball team. First in non-conference, November 15 at North Carolina, the Huskies will have a tough early test against a solid ACC opponent. November 25th to the 27th, the Huskies will travel to the Bahamas to play in the Bahama Championship. UConn faces Oregon State and either Ole Miss or Boston College, both strong programs. December 7th, UConn will face off against Louisville in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, a marquee matchup in the women's champions class. December 12th, the Huskies will travel to Notre Dame where they will take on Hannah Hodogo and that returning core for another historical rivalry game. February 6th at Tennessee and February 16 at, mark it on your calendar, South Carolina. Critical road games against top-ranked SEC team. Now to the Big East in conference play. Creighton, likely the toughest Big East opponent with most of their starters returning. Villanova, a rising Big East team that UConn will face twice, January 5th and January 22nd. UConn opens the Big East play against Marquette on January 1st and concludes the season on March 12th against Marquette. Now here's a projected starting lineup that we can see Gino trot out. Paige Bukers, the team leader and two-time Big East Player of the Year. Azzy Fudd, a sharpshooter with strong perimeter defense, but we have to make sure that she is healthy. Yana El Alfi, 6'5 center, is more than likely going to get the start. Sarah Strong, I expect to see her in the starting line. She was the top high school recruit in 2024. Strong is a 6'4 forward, who can score, rebound, and Isabel, a quick guard with high basketball IQ and good passing skills. KK Arnold may also get some starting, a player who got more minutes than expected last season. I expect to see her return to the starting lineup, if not full-time, for a good amount of minutes. With this talented roster and a mix of home and road games, UConn is set up for a strong season, but key matchups like Tennessee and South Carolina will definitely test them. I can't wait for the season to get started. As always, comment, like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.